Harvey, I'm not sure this is the best idea. We need to know what she has. What's the downside? The downside is that we move off the trial. Mike, this trial's coming whether you like it or not. And the more time we have knowing her game plan, the better off we'll be. Holy shit. What? I took the LSATs for this guy. So what? So he can give Gibbs something she doesn't even have on me yet. Yeah. And to do that, he'll be ruining his whole career, which means even if he remembers you, he's more afraid of you than you are of him. So come the hell down. All right, let's make this quick. Your Honor, making it quick is exactly what we're asking you to do. She hasn't handed over her discovery yet. I'm still building a case, and we haven't even set a date for trial yet. And the check's in the mail, and all the other things people say when they don't want to do what they have to do. What I have to do is protect the public from the likes of you. All right, that's enough. Get that discovery to them by the end of the day. In that case, we'd like to ask that the date for trial be set in the next two weeks. Objection, Your Honor. She's had weeks to- You can't have it both ways, Mr. Spector. You can't demand discovery and ask for more time. Trial starts in two weeks. What the hell do you want? Well, since you made me come all the way down here, I thought I'd save the taxpayers some money on hiring a server. Server for what? For your fiance. I'd like to ask her some questions. Get the hell out of here. You want to serve a subpoena, you serve it to her. Well, then I wouldn't get to see the look on your face. Did you really think I wouldn't hit you where it hurt? I was saving your weakest spot for last. Have a nice day, gentlemen. What? You know what? It's time we give that woman a taste of her own medicine. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means we hire a lawyer from an outside firm and we dig up dirt on someone she cares about. Are you out of your mind? You saw what she did to Donna. It's only a matter of time before she tries to pull the same shit with Rachel. Mike. Harvey, you're the one that taught me that when someone puts pressure on you, you put it back on them. I also taught you if you're gonna take a swing at someone, you better knock them out. And if we pull the shit that you're talking about and get caught, all that happens is I get thrown off this case and it's game over. Harvey, I can't stand by and watch other people I care about get attacked, and neither could you. Mike, I promise you, I will be there for Rachel every step of the way. In the meantime, I need you going through every one of those boxes. Because if that woman's ready to go to trial, she's got a lot more than an email from Lewis's girlfriend. Hey, did you find something in the discovery? Yeah, I sure as hell did. I just discovered that Gibbs picked up Rachel. What? She arrested her? No, she pulled up to the curb with some documents. I don't give a shit what she pulled up with. Rachel should know not to go with her. Yeah, and that would have been an excellent thing for her lawyer to tell her, except her lawyer wasn't there. Excuse me? You promised me that you would be with her every step of the way. I promised I'd represent her at a deposition, not babysit her 24 hours a day. Maybe instead of getting mad at Rachel, it is time for us to figure out how to go after Gibbs. This again? Yes, this again. I told you she was gonna go after Rachel, and now she has. And I told you if you're gonna go after someone, you better knock them out. Then you better figure out a way to knock Gibbs out soon, because if you don't, I will. Harvey, I know how we can stop Gibbs from pressuring Rachel. Does it involve going to Scotty without telling me? Harvey. God damn it, you had no right. I had every right because I knew Gibbs would keep crossing lines and that's exactly what she did. What are you talking about? She manipulated about? the Dean of Columbia into threatening to expel Rachel. Where's your proof? They accused her of having me take the LSATs for her. But the only problem is there's no record of me ever having been accused of that. The guy you saw in court. Yes, his name is David Green. He must have told Gibbs about me and then she used that to get the Dean to strong arm Rachel. That's abuse of power. I told you, the only problem with that theory is David Green tells Gibbs about you and his career's done. Then he must have told her anonymously. Which doesn't help us, because we still don't have any proof that she contacted the dean. No, we don't, but it wouldn't be that hard for me to get. No, it could be a setup. It's too risky. This whole goddamn thing is too risky, but right now, Rachel's future is in jeopardy, and if I have to risk tacking on a few years to save her, it's not even a close call. All right, do what you have to do. Just don't get caught. What's this? That's what you're gonna sign. This says you're dropping a charge of malicious prosecution in exchange for me admitting a sanctionable offense. And for backing the hell off going after Rachel Jane. Is this a joke? No, and neither is getting the Dean of Columbia Law to do your dirty work. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what we're talking about. And unless you want us to tell the world that you intimidated a witness by colluding with your old law school buddy, you're gonna sign that. You don't have a shred of proof that I had anyone do anything. I have a copy of an anonymous tip sent to you saying I took the LSATs for people and a record of a phone call from your office to the Dean of Columbia 10 minutes later. That's not proof of anything. It's proof enough for us to sue Dean Herrick for every penny he's ever made. You think when we get him into deposition, he isn't gonna crack?
you're pretty smart, don't you? Smart enough to outwit a U.S. attorney. And if we can do it here, what makes you think we won't be able to do it in court? Because court's not about bullshit like this, it's about facts. And the fact is, you're not a goddamn lawyer. What are you still doing here? Well, we still have a trial coming up. If I'm gonna make any headway on my defense, I need to get going. Your defense? Yes, my defense. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Because there's an expression about that. It says, if you're thinking it, you're a fool. You heard her. She said, the fact is, is that I'm not a goddamn lawyer. Well, the only way to change that fact is for a jury to see me be a goddamn lawyer. You try that, all they're gonna see is someone going to prison. That's bullshit, I can handle her. You've never even gone through a criminal trial before. Oh yeah, and when was the last time you did? How many years ago was it? I don't believe it. You think you're better than me? No, this isn't about who's better. It's about who's better for this case. And my life is on the line. If I go down because of my call, I can take it. If I go down because of yours, I can't. This isn't just your life. This is all of ours. Well, like I said, it's my call and I'm making it. I'm sorry to interrupt. This isn't over. I just finished going through discovery and we have a problem. What is it? They found Trevor. 